Welcome, gents. Picture this. One guy is sitting quietly in the corner of the room, minding his own business, plotting his next solo adventure, while the other is front and center, soaking up every bit of attention like a plant starved for sunlight. Welcome to the secret battle between Sigma males and narcissists. A clash you probably never saw coming. On one side, you've got the Sigma male, effortlessly dodging drama like it's a bad Wi-Fi signal. On the other side, there's the narcissist, the walking spotlight who demands to be the center of everyone's world, feeding off admiration like it's the only thing keeping him alive. Now put these two together and you get an invisible yet intense showdown that plays out in the background of everyday life, often unnoticed but always explosive in its own quiet way. This isn't your typical alpha versus beta debate. Nope, it's more like a chess match between a quiet strategist and someone who thinks they're the king of the board, even when they've only got pawns left. It's a tug of war for control, attention, and ultimately survival. But only one of them is playing for it. Ready to dive into the silent but deadly battle between these two? Let's uncover the ten ways Sigma males and narcissists secretly clash when no one's looking. Buckle up, so gents, stick with me until the end. The last additional point will definitely hit home, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Number 11. True Self versus Manufactured Persona Sigma males have this incredible ability to peel back the layers of societal expectations and show up as their true selves. They don't care about fitting into boxes or meeting anyone's standards. For them, authenticity isn't just a buzzword. It's a way of life. They embrace their quirks, flaws, and all the things that make them unique. It's refreshing to see someone who doesn't feel the need to conform to what others expect. Their confidence shines through because they're not pretending to be someone they're not. They're just being themselves, raw and real. Narcissists, on the other hand, are like those people who show up to a costume party in an outfit that screams, Look at me! They craft elaborate personas designed to impress and deceive, manipulating every interaction to serve their needs. They're not interested in authenticity, they're all about the spectacle. Their carefully curated image is a fragile facade built to distract from their insecurities. It's like a reality show where they're the stars, and they'll do anything for the applause, even if it means pretending to be someone they're not. This creates a fascinating clash. On one side you have the Sigma, who embodies genuine self-expression, and on the other, the Narcissist, who desperately seeks validation through artifice. The irony is that while the narcissist is busy acting for the applause, the Sigma quietly lives his truth, and in the end, it's the authenticity that leaves a lasting impact. Sigma males have this incredible ability to peel back the layers of societal expectations and show up as their true selves. They don't care about fitting into boxes or meeting anyone's standards. For them, authenticity isn't just a buzzword, it's a way of life. They embrace their quirks, flaws, and all the things that make them unique. It's refreshing to see someone who doesn't feel the need to conform to what others expect. Their confidence shines through because they're not pretending to be someone they're not. They're just being themselves, raw and real. Narcissists, on the other hand, are like those people who show up to a costume party in an outfit that screams, Look at me! They craft elaborate personas designed to impress and deceive manipulating every interaction to serve their needs. They're not interested in authenticity. They're all about the spectacle. Their carefully curated image is a fragile facade built to distract from their insecurities. It's like a reality show where they're the stars and they'll do anything for the applause, even if it means pretending to be someone they're not. This creates a fascinating clash. On one side you have the Sigma, who embodies genuine self-expression, and on the other, the narcissist who desperately seeks validation through artifice. The irony is that while the narcissist is busy acting for the applause, the Sigma quietly lives his truth, and in the end, it's the authenticity that leaves a lasting impact. Number 10. Underdog Power versus Overblown Self-Importance Sigmas often slip under the radar. They're the quiet ones in the corner, observing everything with a knowing smirk, and people tend to underestimate them. It's easy to mistake their calm demeanor for weakness. 
But that's where the surprise lies. When push comes to shove, they reveal a depth of strength and capability that can turn the tide in any situation. Whether it's tackling a challenge solo or coming up with a brilliant idea no one else saw, their true power emerges when you least expect it. It's like the unassuming person who quietly dominates a trivia night and leaves everyone wondering how they knew that random fact about 17th-century philosophers. Now, enter the narcissist, puffing up their chest and strutting around like a peacock that thinks it's the king of the jungle. Their inflated sense of self-importance is the stuff of legends, often bordering on the absurd. They love to hear themselves talk, painting grand pictures of their achievements while ignoring the glaring flaws in their narrative. But here's the kicker. When the truth inevitably comes crashing down, it's a spectacle to behold. Their fragile facade shatters, leaving behind a mess of ego and denial. In this clash of characters, the real power lies with the Sigma, the underdog who surprises everyone with their grit and resourcefulness. Meanwhile, the narcissist's overblown self-importance sets them up for a spectacular fall. In the end, it's a classic tale of the underestimated rising to greatness, while the loudest voice in the room is left scrambling to pick up the pieces of their shattered illusion. Number 9. Authentic Purpose versus Image-Driven Success Narcissists chase success like it's a trophy meant to showcase their worthiness, desperately needing the world to validate their inflated self-image. For them, accomplishments aren't just milestones, they're performance reviews from an audience they crave. Whether it's a promotion, a social media milestone, or a flashy new car, it's all about how it looks on the outside. They're the ones who post their victories online with captions that scream for attention hoping the likes and comments will fill the void of their insecurity. Their self-worth hinges on these external validations, making their success feel more like a game of perception than a genuine achievement. On the flip side, Sigma males have a different playbook. They pursue their goals not for the applause, but for the intrinsic joy that comes from creating and achieving something meaningful. Whether it's starting a passion project, mastering a skill, or simply enjoying solitude in nature, their fulfillment comes from within. They measure success by personal growth and the satisfaction of doing what resonates with them, not by how many people are watching or applauding. This creates a fascinating contrast. While the narcissist is busy building a facade to impress others, the Sigma is digging deep into the roots of their own desires and interests. In the battle between authentic purpose and image-driven success, it becomes clear that true fulfillment lies in the genuine pursuit of passions rather than the shallow accolades that the narcissist craves. Ultimately, one finds lasting satisfaction and meaning, while the other remains trapped in a cycle of seeking empty validation. Number 8. The Sigma's inaccessibility is the narcissist's nightmare. Narcissists love control, especially when it comes to manipulating people. They know how to charm, deceive, and pull strings to get what they want, feeding off the attention and validation they extract. But then comes the Sigma male, a total enigma that drives narcissists crazy. Why? Because Sigmas are completely out of reach. They don't play by the usual social rules, they aren't impressed by superficial charm, and they refuse to be controlled. For the narcissist, it's like trying to catch smoke with your bare hands. Impossible and maddening. The narcissist thrives on figuring people out, understanding their weak spots, and using them to their advantage. But the Sigma doesn't have the same weak spots. They're indifferent to praise, immune to flattery, and uninterested in social power games. This makes the Sigma an unsolvable puzzle, which infuriates the narcissist who's used to bending people to their will. What's worse for the narcissist is that the more they try to manipulate a Sigma, the more distant the Sigma becomes. The narcissist can't stand being ignored, and the Sigma's refusal to engage feels like a personal insult. It creates a void the narcissist can't fill, a nightmare where their usual tactics don't work. The more inaccessible the Sigma remains, the more the narcissist spirals into frustration. For them, it's unbearable, the one person they can't control, the one puzzle they can't solve. And that inaccessibility? It's the Sigma's ultimate power. Thank you for being a valued subscriber, gents. 
Your ongoing support is greatly appreciated and motivates us to continue creating meaningful content. We truly value your engagement. Number seven, conquest of people versus conquest of purpose. Narcissists are constantly on a mission to conquer people. For them, life is one big popularity contest where they need to win over as many admirers as possible. They measure success by how much validation they can squeeze out of others, and without that steady stream of praise, they feel empty. Every interaction is a chance to boost their ego, and every person is just another target for them to dominate. It's like they're always in a game, and the score is based on how many people are paying attention to them. Sigma males, on the other hand, couldn't care less about winning people over. They don't measure success by how many people are watching or clapping for them. Their focus is on pursuing their own goals, quietly and with purpose. Whether anyone notices or not doesn't matter. They aren't driven by the need to be admired. They're driven by their own internal compass. The journey, the process and the end result are what matter to them, not how they're perceived along the way. This creates a stark contrast between the two. While the narcissist is busy collecting people like trophies to feel important, the Sigma is out there chasing a purpose that means something only to them. The narcissist needs to be the center of attention to feel alive, but the Sigma finds fulfillment in personal achievements without needing an audience. It's a battle between shallow conquests of people and deeper conquests of self-driven purpose. Number six, the narcissist's Achilles. Heel, ignored by a Sigma. Narcissists thrive on attention like it's oxygen, and when they don't get it, they can't breathe. They need people to notice them, praise them, and remind them how great they are. But when a Sigma male enters the picture, it's a total nightmare for the narcissist. Why? because the Sigma simply doesn't care. Where most people might get pulled into the narcissist's game, the Sigma just shrugs and moves on, uninterested and unaffected. To a narcissist, this indifference is like kryptonite. They live for the spotlight, and when someone refuses to give it to them, it's a direct hit to their fragile ego. The Sigma's lack of interest leaves the narcissist in a panic, scrambling to find a way back into relevance. They can't stand being ignored because without constant validation, their sense of self falls apart. For the Sigma, this isn't even a strategy. It's just who they are. They don't feel the need to engage with people who try too hard or seek attention for the wrong reasons. Their indifference isn't meant to wound, but it cuts deeper than any direct insult could. The narcissist, starved of their supply, starts to crumble. To them, the Sigma's cold shoulder isn't just annoying, it's a terrifying void where their sense of worth disappears. In this dynamic, the Sigma's greatest power is simply not caring. And for the narcissist, that indifference is the one thing they can't handle. Number five, ego versus silent confidence. Narcissists walk around with their ego like it's a flashy trophy they want everyone to admire. They constantly seek attention, needing others to confirm how amazing they think they are. Deep down, though, it's all a fragile act, masking insecurities they hope no one will ever notice. Their ego is like a balloon, big and bold but ready to pop at the slightest prick of criticism. They'll brag, boast, and demand validation, but underneath, they're terrified of being exposed for not being as great as they claim. Sigma males, on the other hand, don't need the spotlight to feel good about themselves. They have this silent confidence that doesn't need to be shouted from the rooftops. It comes from knowing who they are and not caring what anyone else thinks. They don't need to prove anything to anyone because they're secure in their own skin. This quiet confidence is unshakable. Criticism doesn't bother them because they've already done the inner work. They're comfortable with their strengths and weaknesses, and they don't need a crowd to cheer them on. In this battle, it's like watching someone nervously juggle glass while pretending they've got it all under control, while the other person is calmly standing there, solid as a rock. One is desperate to keep the illusion alive, while the other is rooted in authenticity with nothing to prove. It's fragile ego versus real, grounded confidence, and only one of them can keep it together when things get tough. Number four, resilience versus fragility. Sigma males have this uncanny ability to get stronger when life throws them curveballs. 
They don't panic when things get tough. In fact, they kind of thrive on it. It's like they look at adversity as just another workout. Every challenge makes them more resilient. Criticism, they'll take it, break it down, and come out the other side sharper than before. It's not that they enjoy suffering, they've just figured out how to turn pressure into progress. They're the type that quietly endures and then bounces back better and stronger without needing applause. Narcissists, on the other hand, crumble the moment things don't go their way. They might talk a big game, but under that shiny surface is emotional glass. One wrong word, one little rejection, and it's like they've been shattered. Criticism is their kryptonite. They simply can't handle the idea that they're anything less than perfect. Instead of learning from adversity, they spend all their energy trying to protect their fragile ego, avoiding anything that might challenge their carefully crafted image. So, while Sigma males become battle-hardened from life's challenges, narcissists are forever dodging them, afraid of what even the smallest hit might do. It's like watching one person bench-press their problems and get stronger, while the other is busy wrapping themselves in bubble wrap, hoping nothing sharp comes their way. When it comes to who can handle the heat, it's clear. One endures and thrives, while the other folds under pressure. Our number three. Control through withdrawal versus control through manipulation. Sigma males have mastered the art of control by doing something most people never think of, pulling away. They don't need to boss anyone around or play social games to feel powerful. Instead, they create a kind of mystique simply by being absent. The less they show up, the more people wonder where they are, what they're thinking, or if they even care. This gives them a strange, almost magnetic influence. They're the guy who doesn't go to the party, but somehow becomes the main topic of conversation. Narcissists, on the other hand, operate in the exact opposite way. They're always in the party, manipulating conversations, planting seeds of doubt, and making sure the spotlight never leaves them. For them, control is about weaving people into their web and pulling the strings from the center of it all. They know exactly what to say to keep you hooked always just a bit too close to let you see the strings attached to your every move. While the Sigma controls by opting out, the narcissist controls by micromanaging every interaction. One uses detachment as a form of power. If you can't have me, you'll want me more, while the other sticks like glue, convincing everyone they're indispensable. In the end, both create their own form of dominance, but only one of them makes people chase them by simply walking away. It's a battle between effortless allure and exhausting manipulation. Number two, self-reliance versus parasitic dependency. Sigma males are like those people who don't need to check their phone every five minutes or have 10 different social events lined up just to feel alive. They're perfectly happy doing their own thing, thriving on their independence. Whether it's working solo or pursuing a passion that nobody else gets, their sense of self-worth doesn't come from other people. They enjoy solitude because they've mastered the art of self-reliance. And frankly, they prefer not to deal with anyone's nonsense. Narcissists, on the other hand, need people like a plant needs water. Except instead of growing, they drain the life out of you. Despite the confident front they put up, they're walking around with empty emotional batteries, constantly looking for someone to plug into. They survive on compliments, admiration, and any form of attention. If no one's watching, they start to feel like they're fading out of existence. The Sigma's self-reliance drives them nuts because they can't comprehend how someone can be completely fine without an audience. So, while the Sigma is out there living a life of inner peace and quiet accomplishment, the narcissist is busy working overtime to extract praise from anyone who will give it. The difference is clear. One builds a foundation on independence and inner wealth, while the other constructs a fragile house of cards, needing constant external support to keep it standing. When they meet, it's not just a clash, it's a full-on existential crisis for the narcissist. Number 1. Freedom versus Enslavement to Image Sigma males are like birds soaring high, completely unbothered by the opinions of others. They roam through life without the chains of societal expectations weighing them down. Whether they decide to wear mismatched socks or pursue a passion that nobody understands, it doesn't matter to them. They live on their own terms, 
relishing the freedom to be who they truly are. This lack of concern for judgment is liberating. They can focus on what genuinely interests them rather than trying to fit into someone else's mold. In their world, authenticity trumps all, and they wouldn't have it any other way. On the flip side, narcissists are like hamsters on a wheel, constantly running to maintain their carefully crafted image. They're trapped in a prison of their own making, always worried about how they look and what others think. Every social interaction is a performance, and they need to keep their facade polished and pristine. It's exhausting. They spend so much time curating their online presence and fretting over every little detail that they forget what it feels like to simply be. Their entire existence revolves around the fear of losing that image, creating a life filled with stress and anxiety. So while the Sigma enjoys the sweet taste of independence and genuine self-expression, the narcissist is stuck in a never-ending cycle of vanity. It's a stark contrast. One is free to explore life's adventures while the other is chained to a reflection in the mirror, desperately hoping it will shine brighter than the last. Thank you, gents, for tuning in, and stay safe. God bless.